only a few days ago, I noticed that TradingView released their desktop platform. That's something that's been going on for a few months now, but I just noticed it myself. And after using it for a little bit and seeing how it works, the benefits of it, the downside, I'll show you how this works. I'll give you a walkthrough to the platform and show you step-by-step -step how to place trades, what things are better with the new desktop platform, and some ways that it performs better and also not so good overall. So let's dive right in. All right, so here I am on the TradingView website. This is the normal platform that's online that you've seen before for sure. Everyone uses that these days. But one thing that's new is if you go here on the left corner and you go to here, get desktop app, you see it's new. So you can just click on that. You'll be sent to this page, to download it. So it works for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. I'm unfortunate here I have a Windows computer, which is really sad, but I'll use that for now. And we'll see how that performs overall. Definitely looking forward to get back to using a Mac in the future. But never mind, let's just go right into it. You'll be able to install the platform on your computer. It's really simple to install, so I won't go through that. And you have this thing that opens over here. Same thing as before, right? The same exact thing, uh, just in a desktop environment here. So if you go here, you have the same thing as I'm, I'm connected here to my account, of course, in TradingView. Now, one big thing that TradingView has been pushing a lot with this platform here is the ability to be able to use your whole screen. So if you have multiple monitors, you're going to be able to use them for your charts. Right? As you can see, you have this example here. So they talk about being able to extend the same thing on more screen. I'll show you, of course, what that looks like for myself. And that's pretty cool because if you had the browser before, you cannot really extend the browser to bigger. It can only take one screen. And if you want to have multiple screens of trading view, you got to kind of open the website multiple times. Not the best because, of course, then it's not seeing properly in things. It's just making a mess. So that's the best thing here. That really makes a big difference on this new trading view platform. All right, so here's how you're able to use multiple windows in the trading view app. So it's a bit more complex than just resizing the window on your two screens. It's different. So I have my first screen on the left over here and the other screen here on the, on the right. And what you got to do is you got to go into the trading view app and right here above they have a small arrow. Okay, this arrow over here. Uh, here on the Mac it's going to be more on the left side here under the trading view uh, kind of menu. So you click that and then you do here new window. Okay, it's going to open a new window of your platform. So you got it over here. It's loading there. And now what I'll do is simply take that window and move it over here on my other monitor. I'll be able to resize it like this. And then we have two windows of trading view. So you can interact between both. It's similar to what I used to do on Chrome, for example, when I wanted to open two windows, but this here will sync better. Let's just see an example if you are able to take this one off, if it's gonna take off on the other charts. See, it's pretty fast. So I take off over here on the left, it, it removes itself on the right over here. So that's pretty good. Now they also updated the mobile app recently as well. So if you want me to do a video on that, I'll do it for sure. All right, so you've seen how it works on multiple screens and that's good. Now let's talk about how do you actually trade on this? Well, same thing as online, right? The same principle, you go here. Uh, it's nothing crazy, it's simply the fact that it's a desktop view of the same thing as you see online, right? That's not, nothing different. There's no more features. Uh, it just runs on the computer, so it could be faster, I guess. Uh, you have less lag with the browser. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. So if you wanna connect your broker, as always, you go here. Uh, so you can choose your broker here. I'm using Oenda myself. Let's see what broker they have. Uh, they keep adding more and more of a time. They have a lot of crypto ones, I think. Uh, Fox.com, TradeStation, cool. So a lot of brokers are coming here, which is a good thing. Now, let me connect to my Oenda account. We'll go on a demo account and to screw up all my stats. Okay, so as you can see, I have my demo account here that's connected. You just do allow, simple. If you've done that before, it's the same principle as before. Nothing new, nothing changed there. We will allow this. I'll go back here to my Trinity platform and wait for this to load. Okay, cool. So now we have this. It's a $10,000 account. Demo, of course, because I don't want to screw up my stats when I show you how to place trades. Just not worth it for me. So let's go here. And now everything applies the same. All right, so you have to go first. You have to find a pair that's traded with Oenda. The way you do this is you go here and you search for whatever pair you want. Okay, so my watch list here is based on uh, sometimes FX Pro or FXCM. Uh, here, as you can see, it's Oenda, this one. Uh, this one is FXCM. It's just different charting. It just looks better with FXCM in my opinion. But Oenda is, is also fine. Let's go to a pair with Oenda. I think this one. Your can is with Oenda. Okay. So your AOD is with Oenda. Okay, so now we just go here on the chart. And by the way, I think we had a nice setup here yesterday on this chart. 
Seems like it's going not so well, but that's okay. That's fine. I'll just open here the one hour chart bigger for myself. So we had this up yesterday. I didn't enter this one because it's beyond the middle band of the bonjour band. Uh, I'll try to link my videos on my strategy too, linked below or here in the corner somewhere, whichever you find. Okay, so now we have this, this trade is not a good trade, but let's just say we want to enter the market. We'll go here, we'll go trade. I did a right click, trade, create new order. Okay, cool. Yeah, now we have a huge stop loss. So we'll just fix that to maybe 100 pip, just to make it simple. As you can see, it's going to adjust our size here with the 1%, 2% take profit, 1% stop loss at 100 pip, 200 pip take profit. We have this number of units here, this risk in happens to be Canadian dollar here for my account. And we'll just go to buy. Okay, that's done. Now we have this on the chart. That's pretty good. That's nice. And we have a trade. Okay, now if you want to be able to modify our trades, just go here to our one that demo. Uh, and then we have our trade here minus three dollars in profit. Okay, so now we can just go here. We can close it right away, or we're going to be able to see our account summary, these things. Okay, and log here. And all these things. So let's just want to let's just see we want to close the trade. Let's go here. And we're gonna do a partial close to so close half the trade. So we had eleven thousand or twelve thousand units, let's say. Let's see we want to close six thousand. Okay, close six thousand units. We'll have a position left of five thousand eight hundred and ninety-four. Partially close. And that's done. Okay. So half the trade is closed, and we have less units here. And now we can just close or hold trade if you want. Again, we can just use the here the manual mode in which we are able to, if you minimize this, move or take profit like this. Okay, stop loss and everything. And we'll see the, the width between or stop loss and take profit. So we will see now it's a 0.5 risk per trade and a 0.18 take profit. So that's how we can do it. Now, just close the trade, we can close it here really easily and close position all. So now this is going to be gone. That's good. Okay, perfect. And now we have a trade close. And the other thing I want to show you quickly is with Argos, as you trading views, you can have, you can code indicators, and that works out quite well. So if I go here, I have one that's on my chart. This one is for cryptos. So if you just enable it here, uh, it does something. At, by the way, big shout out to to Alejandro, who coded all of that, and he's doing a good job with it. So let's just go here. We'll go to strategy tester here, and as you'll see on Forex, it doesn't work that well. But if you put it into a crypto like uh, Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin or, or anything, it performs really well there. So that's what we can see here. Now again, same thing as online, like no difference here, the exact same principle. Uh, you've got the same thing online, but I feel like it's loading faster here on the desktop. Okay, I feel like that's the main point of using a desktop platform is it's faster, it's using your computer resources to load, and you don't have to go through all the browser things to be able to make it load. Another point that's really important too is the fact that Sometimes trading view for whatever reason on the, the web version kind of freeze or crashes when you run algos a lot and that can be a big problem. So the cool thing about this is that if it freeze, only your application freeze and only that you have to close it. If it freezes on your browser and you have to, you're working on different things on the side, everything freezes and you have to close everything to be able to make it work. So not the best there. It's really not ideal to have that at all. But if you have a desktop platform and it freezes or something happens or it crashes, then at least not everything crashes. You only have this platform that crashes and you can just go ahead and, and restart it after without any issues. Okay, the rest is the same. I don't see anything different here that's, that you don't have on the uh, website. Website is good if you're on the go or you have like a computer with no platform and you don't want to have to install it. The browser is still very good, but this is a way to kind of make it better, I think more powerful and to just make the process better. All right, guys, so I hope you like this video today. I'm sorry for the camera, it kind of crashed while I was recording, but I decided to publish it anyway, because I want to be able to get this information across to you. And if you're able to start using the platform today, right now, and kind of benefit from it. So I hope this was useful for you. Leave me your thoughts below in the comment section, as always. I want to hear what you think of the platform. If you tried it before, what is good, what is bad, how would you improve it? I'm sure that people are trying you will be improving it in the future without any doubt. Here's some videos on screen you can watch next. I recommend you watch those, be able to improve your trading and use trading view better as well. Here's where you can subscribe to the channel. I publish videos like this four times per week and I don't want you to miss any of them. And I'll catch you back here in the next video pretty soon. Ciao.